Over $800 billion of federal funding is disseminated every year based upon formulas that use census data. Data that we get an opportunity to collect once every 10 years. Power and money, that's what Jeff Baylor says is at stake ahead of the 2020 census count. Baylor's the U.S. Census Bureau's New York Regional Director. He joined Patterson Mayor Andre Sea and Congressman Bill Pasquale at Passaic County Community College for a census job fair. We're talking about Head Start, we're talking about National School Lunch Program, highway planning and construction, health care centers, Section 8 housing, all the critical uh, programs that are out there that support communities like Patterson, the urban areas throughout the state of New Jersey and throughout the country. The census is so important. And for every person that gets missed or chooses not to be counted, that'll affect their family, that'll affect their city, their state for the next 10 years. The Bureau is hiring hundreds of people for temporary jobs in the state to help with the count. So this can be a great second job. You do not have to quit your 40 hour a week job if you want to work for us. You can work nights and weekends and be extremely successful. And pay rates within New Jersey ranging from $16.50 to $22 per hour, paid training, mileage reimbursement, that's a pretty good gig. We're all in. Primarily we're going to be going to their houses. It's going to be canvassing. We'll have a representation of the people we serve of the population. So you'll have people who speak Bangla, Spanish, Arabic, Turkish. The mayor says the goal is to reach everyone in the city because in the past, young children and low-income people have been the hardest to count. What we're asking people to do is just fill it out the best that you can and make sure that you include everyone. Because I've stated before, the hardest to reach demographic group, children between zero and five because parents are not putting them on. Everyone counts. So we're doing outreach through the nonprofit organizations. We have Eva's Village. We have Oasis. They've been very helpful. As stated earlier by Jeff Baylor, they're actually going to go to the jails, our jail, and make sure that population is counted as well. One population that may not be counted are those who are undocumented. In June, the Supreme Court will decide whether a citizenship question should be included on the census. Saya wants to stress that there is no reason for anyone to panic or feel like they shouldn't fill out a form. The census, it's safe. You don't have to worry about anyone sharing your information. It's easy. It's a form. And you don't even have to answer that question if it's on it as far as citizenship is concerned. To apply for a census job, you can go online or call the Bureau. The count will kick off on April 1st, 2020 and continue for about two months. In Patterson, Raven Santana, NJTV News.